How might artificial intelligence change the courtroom as we know it? That's a question that's capturing the attention of the legal world. Scripps News' Megan Sullivan set out to learn more about how an AI attorney could actually work and why this leading edge technology may one day be able to help the wheels of justice turn faster and more cheaply. Affording an attorney is a struggle for many Americans. Some think artificial intelligence may be able to change that. But can a robot really defend your legal rights? Artificial intelligence is getting scary good at making artwork. Artificial intelligence is helping to detect and treat the disease. Hey Google. For its What's new it? iPhone with facial recognition. Chat GPT. As artificial intelligence continues to transform our everyday lives, there's a new race underway to harness the power of AI in the courtroom. At the cutting edge of that movement is Joshua Browder, the CEO of a startup called Do Not Pay. He says he's on a mission to create the world's first AI-powered attorney. The legal industry is David versus Goliath, so we want to be David. Unfortunately, it's pay to play, so the people with the most money typically win in court cases, but software can level the playing field. Do not pay beta product that catches illegal spam callers and gets them to pay you. At a fraction of the cost of a human lawyer, Browder says he is able to use his software to help everyday Americans battle legal issues, such as traffic tickets and evictions. So far, he says his company has helped in more than 1.5 million cases and saved his clients millions of dollars. So we're going to sue a company at the press of a button. To show us how his technology works, Browder entered a hypothetical case on his Do Not Pay website of a client who is looking for an attorney to help them get reimbursed for a canceled flight. So the robot wants to gather as much evidence to make your case as strong as possible. So it asks things like dates or photographs. We wait about 30 seconds and then it generates a legal demand letter. So just like that, it mentions all of the laws um, of the local state. The system then automatically sends the letter to the airline. For now, Do Not Pay can generate legal letters, lawsuits, and other routine court documents. But Browder says this is just the beginning. Biden For the past year, Browder had been planning to take the technology one step further, using AI to represent a client in the courtroom for the first time in history. They're going to put on AirPods and the AI will be whispering in their ear. It will listen to the court hearing, process what's going on, and then tell, whisper very quickly back what to say. But his plan sparked backlash from lawyers across the country, including this class action complaint in San Francisco that argued Do Not Pay is not actually a robot, a lawyer, nor a law firm. Do Not Pay does not have a law degree, is not barred in any jurisdiction, and is not supervised by any lawyer. And because of that, the complaint contends, it's illegal to use in a courtroom. Browder says that opposition has forced him to postpone his plans for now. I think lawyers are very scared. AI will replace a lot of lawyers. And we're on the side of the people, not the side of the lawyers. And the people need legal help for free or very cheaply. Georgetown Law School professor Tanina Rothstein told us access to legal help is a problem faced by millions of Americans nationwide. 92 percent of people living in the United States either get no legal help or inadequate legal help with their legal problems. It's an incredible crisis. Rothstein researches ways technology can be used to change that. She told us AI can help solve the crisis, but says it should never be allowed to completely replace a lawyer. Technology is helpful, but I think we need lawyers to be the subject matter experts to make sure that whatever the system is producing reflects what the law is. Wouldn't having an AI lawyer be better than not having a lawyer at all? Absolutely. With a caveat, which is that we do need quality control. Mm -hmm. I think we have to test it, we have to try it, we have to see what kind of errors it makes. So who would be held accountable if an AI made a mistake that could qualify as malpractice? Well, so that's, that's the big question. That's where we have to think about how do we regulate it. So if it makes mistakes, you stop it from continuing and people can, can get their money back or can you know, get some form of redress. Without any oversight, Rostain worries that AI legal companies could be driven by profit, not the interests of clients. Do not pay his own terms of service state. Any communications between you and Do Not Pay may not be protected under the attorney-client privilege doctrine, and that it can share users' data with third-party companies. So Ross Stain says that practice could be especially harmful to legal clients who are already vulnerable and could be targeted by predatory companies. So you don't want their data to be used for other purposes. Uh, you don't want their data to be exploited. Joshua Browder told us his focus for now is on improving AI's capacity 
so it can be a more reliable resource for people who need legal help. The biggest challenge we've had is the AI makes things up. So we've had to tell the AI, stick to the facts. AI is really good at doing lots of things, but you have to train it. Even with those challenges, studies say that in the next decade, thousands of legal roles will be fully automated as AI-powered technology reshapes the legal world. Megan Sullivan, Scripps News, Washington.